Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Melody. I was doing my math homework when I felt a sharp <gasps> pang in my stomach. Mom, not again, I yelled. My homework was due the next day. I tried to keep going for a while, but I couldn't. I jumped up. As I was wiping away the cold sweat from my forehead, I groaned. Mom, I can't believe you're doing this to your own kids. I was feeling extremely nauseous. I had to go to the bathroom right away. I ran out of my room. Shoot, there was someone else in the bathroom. I was about to throw up. I knocked on the door in a panic. My brother Rick's voice was weary. I'm here. I know why you're here, but I'm here for the same reason, so it's not possible for me to come out. We had the same thing for dinner, so naturally Rick's stomach was upset too. I had to find a spot to dump all the bad food in my stomach, so I ran out to the backyard. When I came back in, I looked around for my mom and found her hanging out in the living room. As usual, she was clipping out coupons from flyers. Mom, please don't get expired food from the store. Rick and I are both sick. We threw up everything we ate, I said to her. She nonchalantly defended herself. I threw up too. So what? They sell expired stuff at half price. I won't give up on a bargain. Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. Stop complaining and put the buckets in the garden. It's supposed to rain tonight. My mom was one of the cheapest people you might ever know. She used to feed us rotten food just because it was cheap. I knew that it was a waste of time to argue with my mom about how cheap she was. But when I had food poisoning twice in one week, I couldn't stop myself. I wasn't feeling well because I had just thrown up, but I still did what my mom told me to do. From the bathroom, I took as many buckets as I could, and I put them all over the backyard. My mom followed the weather report to see if it was going to rain or not. She wanted me to take out the buckets on rainy days. To her, rain meant free water. She was using the collected rainwater to wash the dishes and the laundry. We sometimes even showered with rainwater. I'm sure by now you have an idea about how cheap my mom is. The weird part is, my mom was an architect and she had a pretty good salary. We were doing well financially. This wasn't about money. Being cheap was in her DNA. My grandmother was also an extremely stingy woman. My grandfather even left her because of this. History repeated itself and the same thing happened in our family. My dad divorced my mom because he couldn't deal with her cheap ways anymore. Now, he lives on the other side of the planet. Two words ruled my mom's life, cheap and free. She collected all the coupons she could find. She entered every single contest, sweepstake, giveaway she could find. She was only on social media for campaigns such as like to win or comment to win. It was one of those campaigns that ultimately changed our lives. One morning, my mom and brother woke me up. They both looked incredibly happy. Mom said, Melody, my lovely daughter, we have great news for you. I highly doubted that my mom would give me great news. I cracked open my eyes, but when I realized how excited my brother looked, I sat up in bed. This must be really good. What's going on? What's the great news? I said, looking at them both. Mom said, you'll find out soon enough. Get up. We have a TV crew coming in later tonight. You don't want to face millions in this outfit, do you? <laughs> she giggled. Then she turned to my brother and added, come on, Dodo Pizza. Put on something nicer. I'm sure the TV crew will be more interested in you. They went out. Dodo Pizza. There was definitely something weird going on, but there were no clues for me to figure out what it was. The TV crew arrived shortly after. They interviewed my mom and my brother. Listening to them, I found out what was going on. Unfortunately, the whole country now knew about my mom's cheapness. A pizza brand named Dodo Pizza started a social media campaign. One person would be able to order free pizza from them for 10 years. What did you have to do to win this prize? Here we go. You had to change your name to Dodo Pizza. This was an incredible opportunity for my mom. In order to be able to eat pizza for 10 years, they were going to change my brother Rick's name to Dodo Pizza. It's not difficult to see why mom is doing this, I told Rick, but why did you agree to change your name? I love pizza as much as the next person, but mom rarely orders it. With this prize, I can eat pizza all day, he answered. I couldn't believe him. Dear Dodo Pizza, you are now officially insane like our mom, I said. The next few days were exactly like my brother wanted. We had pizza three meals a day. From now on, 
Mom, what's for dinner? Only had one answer, pizza. I became weary of eating pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner all the time. But because my mom didn't cook anything else, I went along with it. The rules of the campaign didn't allow us to choose toppings. My mom would give the closest Dodo Pizza restaurant a call. They would bring us whatever they wanted. Whenever the delivery person rang our bell, my brother would run to the door to get it. Then he would bring the pizza box into the kitchen and open it to see what kind of pizza it was. If it was a pepperoni pizza, he would scream, my favorite, and immediately stuff his face with it. Months passed. Eating pizza became normal. I was really bored with it, but my brother still seemed happy. Because I would barely eat, Rick was eating my leftovers after he finished his. As a result, he put on a lot of weight in a short time. His clothes didn't fit him anymore, but my mom wouldn't buy him new ones, so he had to wear my dad's old clothes. One day, I had enough. Mom, we've been only eating pizza for months now. This is not healthy at all. Can't you see how much weight Rick's put on? I asked. First of all, your brother's name is Dodo Pizza. Stop calling him Rick. Also, who are you to talk on his behalf? Dodo Pizza is quite happy with himself. Anyone who complains about eating free pizza is a fool. You know what they say. There is only one thing in the world that tastes better than pizza and... That's a free pizza. <laughs> she said and laughed. I was so upset. I went to my room without saying anything else. Now I could see why my dad had to move to the other side of the world after they got divorced. I was going to do the same thing as soon as I turned 18. Months passed. My brother became seriously overweight. One day, when I saw him woofing down more pizza, I said to him, Rick, please eat less pizza. You're going to have to deal with a lot of health issues. He got teary-eyed. It's been a long time since anyone called me something other than Dodo Pizza. Even friends at school now call me Dodo Pizza. I got emotional hearing my old name, he said. Then he glanced at the pizza slice in his hand and continued. Melody, I've become a pizza addict. I don't like the taste as much as I used to, but I still eat it because I can't help myself. What he said really made me sad. It was time to do something about this. I did a little research online and found out that you could complain about your parents to social services. My mom wouldn't like that at all. I was hesitant at first. But the more I thought about my brother, the more I decided I had to call social services. My mom definitely deserved it. She changed Rick's name to a pizza brand. Because of my mom, we had been eating pizza for every meal for a year. My brother had become a pizza addict. More importantly, he had gained a lot of weight. I called social services. I told everything to the person who picked up the phone. They listened to me intently. My poor child, what you just told me is terrible. You both need to get out of that house immediately, they said. Two officials from social services arrived the next morning. My mom was shocked. She got really mad when she found out I was the one who called them. She started yelling at me, but one of the officials said, don't act like this. There's only one condition you need to meet to get your kids back. You need to change and become a better parent. Otherwise, you'll never get them back. <gasps> After hearing that, she never yelled again. Officials brought us to the children's home. We went to the hospital in the afternoon. My brother and I had a quick checkup. Unfortunately, they diagnosed Rick with high cholesterol, early stage diabetes, and obesity. The doctor was shocked to find out my brother was consuming only pizza for the longest time. If you had kept following the same diet, you would have had even more serious health issues. Your sister saved your life, kid, he said. We still stay in the children's home. My mom is allowed one video call per week. Every time we talk, she shows us all the food she's made. Last night, she got really emotional. Guys, look, I made broccoli today. When you come back, we are going to eat so clean and healthy. I got these from the farmer's market. They are super fresh, the best produce in the entire market. I've changed a lot. I will never be cheap about food anymore. Melody, honey, please forgive me. My son will change your name back immediately. You're not Dodo Pizza. You're my one and only Rick. I apologize to both of you for everything I have done. As you can see, my mom seems like she really regrets what she's done. I'm sure it's genuine. We're her children, but I'm not sure if she can stop being cheap. Of course, we'll give her a chance. Social services will pay us visits after we go back home. I'm sure my mom will do her best because she can't lose us again.